Easy. Easy. Stuart Broad takes another. And fair play to the young man. He's done it with another slower ball. And go is that. He's deceived totally by it. Just chips it back. Bold young man. Is there yet another twist in this game? Slower ball. He's played the shot way before the ball's got there. Tries to check it. And all he does is chip it back. Or bold. Zach has gone. He's gone for 16. It's 256 for six. Will Pakistan lose yet another wicket? And Cameron Atman is a new batsman. And straight to the mark, backward point, and he's gone for a small. Funny old game, Mikey. Well, couldn't have picked out Paul Collingwood. He hasn't had the best of tours. Yeah, man, well. It's England will think they've got a chance again here. And they have. I can't believe it. He's up the horrors this tour. It continues. He's gone to naught off just one ball. So Stuart Broad is on a hat trick. Four deliveries to go. Most important one though is this one coming up with Ran and a bid on strike. Stuart Broad on a hat trick. England have brought in a slip. Everyone is getting excited again. And then fans were a bit quiet earlier on. And he has run that down towards third man. It may go all the way. It does. Well, Stuart Broad puts himself unlucky there. Right. Supporters can't believe what they're seeing. Well, not a great shot, but I tell you what, it's another slower ball that is done for the batsman. The are bowlers an off cutter. Might have helped it on with a little inside edge. It looked pretty ugly at the end. Two overs to go, seven needed. Two of 32. Uh, Naveed has gone for seven, so it's now 265 for eight, seven to win from 12 balls. Shoei Bakhtar is a new batsman. He'll be the non-striker because that wicket fell on the last delivery of John Lewis's over. Ricky Clark has the ball in his hands. Long chat between him and Amul Hat and Shoei Bakhtar as Shoei Bakhtar comes in. I'm sure England will be very happy to give him and Amul Hat a single off this very first delivery. Here we go. Well, he's gone a long way down, Shoei Bakhtar. If that had hit, that would have been the end of him. How close was this? Well, field it. Realizes Shovax has come along. Oh well, not in the not in the frame. That could have been nine down. Looking for two here in the man. Not on though. Kevin Peterson gets to it very quickly. Shrey back there now on strike. Two, six, six for eight. Six required. Ten balls to go. Lots of players out on the balcony there for Pakistan. Well, Andrew Strauss is bringing as many 
midfielders as he possibly can into the circle. Stop these singles. Got it away. Try back to her. Two six seven for eight. The scoreboard on the ground. This is two six eight for eight. We'll get that sorted very quickly. Another single for Inzamal Hakko. Although he's looking for two, but it's Kevin Peterson. is very quick. Just a single. Here's the scoreboard on the ground. 269 for 8 is what that says. We have 268 for 8. We have extras 22. They have 23. So it would seem as if possibly there was a no ball that we missed. That's a good shot. Just a single low. Shall back to our fishing straight back down the wicket. too sure exactly what's happening here Andrew Strauss bringing more feelers in even though that means man is on strike to try and prevent any more singles it's short it's pulled it's four and Inzaman ul Haq has won the game for Pakistan and it won't, isn't the first time and it won't be the last time what a magnificent player he is England, well, they should have won this, I felt. The Netherlands on the board, they got their wickets. Played a couple of bowlers. Let the captain down. But well played, that man. Short and pulled away. Not the place to bowl. Didn't want to watch, but they're celebrating now, the Pakistani supporters. Well, I'll have a lot to celebrate in these not so far away World Cup in the Caribbean he could well be one of the sides if they don't win it will go very closer